Hi guys. So today we are starting something different that we're going to be doing in math every single Friday and it's going to be called Fluency Friday. Well, just like we practice um, reading fluently where we don't have to stop and we just know some of the sight words, the same thing we can do in math for fluency is when we know our addition and subtraction problems. That way if I say four plus four, I just know it's eight. I don't have to stop and put four and four together and try to count them as eight. So the more we practice them, the more fluent and the way that you can use the numbers, the more that we practice, the easier it is gonna be for you guys to use the numbers and complete problems that get harder and harder, okay? So each Friday, you guys are gonna have these fluency problems. And just like when we do our sight words, you're gonna kinda do the same thing, but I'm gonna show you how you can make a video of it and record yourself so that I can hear you and see how fast you are. It's actually gonna show you how fast you are on the video too that you can look at. So right now, this is what your screen will look like for Fru Fluency Friday. You'll have on the side, you can see all the different slides and the different problems. So what you're gonna do is you are going to hit your microphone, okay? And it's saying it's gonna start recording in three, two, one. Up at the top, you can see how long it is that's recording. And all you need to do is you're gonna click on each slide. So two plus three, and then you're gonna use your pen and you're gonna write down the answer five. And you click to the next one, five plus four. I would use my pen and I would put my answer nine. One plus five, I would write my answer six. Three plus two, and this is a different way, I'd write my answer five. 3 plus 3, I know that's 6, so I would just write the number 6. And you see I can move my things down. And then 3 plus 5, maybe I don't know 3 plus 5 and I have to count it. 5, 6, 7, 8. So I would put 8. 6 plus 2, 8. So I'm just going to go all the way down on the side. 9 plus 1, 10. And when I'm done recording, if I look up, it'll tell me, look. I had one minute and three seconds is how long it took me to actually record myself and say those problems. So each time you do it, it'll get faster and faster and faster, okay? Then I hit done, and now it's going to be right here. So when I hit up at the top, you can see how long it is it's recording. And all you need to do is you're going to click on each slide. So two plus three. And then, and see, it'll show you going through each slide and doing the numbers for us, okay? So that way I can see how quickly you're answering the problems and how you're working on the problems. And so you're gonna get 15 different problems every Friday like this to record. But look, we did this whole lesson in like three minutes. So it shouldn't take you that long to do and you're gonna get faster and faster. And some of the problems are going to be a little bit harder. The first couple weeks, I tried to use numbers that their answers were usually smaller than six or seven. So a lot of times it was two plus something or three plus something or even one plus something. Eventually, we're going to do a bunch of the numbers that end up being, you know, five plus ten. And we can actually get up the numbers up into the 20s. And we're also going to work on that subtraction, too. But these problems will just be a little review, especially since we're not going to be working on addition and subtraction that much because we're going to be talking about a lot of other different things like time and money and measurement. We still want to be using those addition and subtraction strategies that we've learned so that we don't lose that fluency and those problems that we already know. Because if you don't use it, you lose it, is what we always say, okay? So I am so excited to see how quickly you guys can complete your problems. But remember, it's not always just about speed. We want to make sure that we're accurate. And remember, accurate means that we're right. So if we need to take a second and count three plus two and then say five, that's okay. But eventually, it'll just get where you click, you, and then you can just say it, okay? All right, I am so proud of how, how good you guys are doing, and I will see you later.